There's a snake by your foot. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Just a little joke there, Highness. Is this your usual pickup line? I find if you really want to know who somebody is, you got to see them scared. And you wanted to know who I was? I surely did. I don't know whether to be flattered or frightened. And what did you learn about me, if I may ask? Well, your first instinct was to face danger. That's something. Also, I make you for a registered companion. And how did you arrive at that conclusion? You're the only girl on this whole planet that don't have hayseed in her hair. Also, nobody on Parish says, if I may ask. We just ask. Would it surprise you to know that I grew up on Parish? It would. Jeremiah. Calliope. Well, you're pretty as a muse. Hmm. I'll give you that. Oh, you know your Greek mythology. I'm impressed. Are you a student of the Earth that was? I wouldn't call myself a student of much anything. I work with my hands all day, so come night, I like to spend time in my books. What brings you back to Parish? Unification Day, and to see my father. I don't get back often enough. Oh, hell. Calliope Campbell? Mm -hmm. Old man Campbell's little girl. Oh, we don't usually call him old man around the house, but... Well, mostly she just calls me dad. Oh, Mr. Campbell, sir. Nice night. My daughter is on vacation, son. If you take my meaning. Just being neighborly, sir. Mm -hmm. Might look to seeking your companionship elsewhere. Jeremiah, Ray's dancing? I guess that's my cue. It was nice meeting you, Jeremiah. Ma'am? Come on. There's a snake by your boot. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That must have been some dance. Uh, it's one of the few dances where I know all the steps. But I imagine you know all about that. I could probably teach you a few steps you don't know. Is that an offer? Just stating facts. What's got you out so late? I can't get enough of the stars. On Core Worlds, we can't see them at all unless we leave Atmo. There's too many lights. I don't think I'd care for that much. It does provide incentive to come back for visits, for sure. Not the only incentive, I hope. How long will you be on Parish? I leave tomorrow. Been here all week. Bad timing. It was. Well, there are folks on Parish that'll miss you, I imagine. Your father, I mean. Kinfolk. Good night, Jeremiah. Enjoy your stars, Calliope. Jeremiah. Ma'am? Stargazing is such a lonely business. Perhaps you could do something about that. I understand. As soon as the parts arrive for my shuttle and they're installed, I'll break Atmo and head straight for the training house. And you followed protocol with the clients whose appointments you'll be missing? Of course. There was only one, Councilman Garrick on Murakami, and he's graciously rescheduled. I don't think it'll be a problem. I don't need to tell you that a companion's reliability is paramount to earning and keeping a good reputation. Given your history, the councilman may be understanding, but if this had been a first meeting with a prime minister, it likely would have been your last. I, I understand, mistress. I hadn't anticipated needing the repairs on my shuttle and Parrish is so far out on the rim that we, they, simply don't have the parts here. They needed to be imported from Offworld. Very well. And your father, he's well, I trust? Very well, thank you. He'll be flattered that you asked after him. I'll be sure to extend your regards. Do. In the meantime, send us a wave when you're en route. I will. I'm guessing you won't be delivering that message to your pa anytime soon. That would be difficult since he thinks I left Paris two days ago. I'm 
Breaking about half a dozen different rules here. They got rules for this kind of thing? Just one, really. Don't. <laughs> it's dangerous for a companion to form emotional attachments to her clients. Outside relationships are discouraged. It's expected to happen from time to time, but it's also one of the reasons why we're allowed to choose our clients. We shy away from anyone who might be a danger in that regard. Oops. <laughs> yeah. And I like it here on Parish. I miss it here. So stay. Not an option, I'm afraid. Why not? Because there isn't enough qualified clientele in Parish to support a companion's business. Oh, I wasn't imagining you continue to be a companion if you stayed. I believe you have a skewed impression of what it is to be a companion, Jeremiah. We got whores here on Parish. I never used them myself, but uh, I reckon I got a fair sense of what they do for a living. That's just the kind of backwoods thinking. Backwoods. Being a companion isn't just a profession, it's an identity. I don't even know what the hell that means. My mother was a prostitute, Jeremiah. And I have no shame regarding that aspect of my life, but my father wanted a better life for me after my mother died, and he spent his life savings to enroll me in the training house. I started when I was 11, which was almost considered too old to start the training. What in the hell would an 11-year-old need to know about sex? That's just it! You don't know! A companion's training encompasses art, history, politics, as well as etiquette and protocols on dozens of different worlds. We're taught music and dance, architecture, fencing, we have to be able to speak to a nobleman or a lord on any subject under the sun without any advance warning. Or we have to be alluring enough to make him forget all he knows and get him to stop talking altogether. A properly trained companion entering society can fetch a king's ransom for her virginity. So I'm not rich enough, is that it? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, that my, that these, feelings I'm experiencing are unexpected and overwhelming and exciting, but they're only three days old. And I can't give up on the only life I've ever known for them. For all I know, in a week's time, he'd be back in the arms of Darla. I'd be too ashamed among my peers to go back to my own life. That wouldn't happen. But it could. fine before I met you. More than fine, I didn't want for anything. Now, I don't want anything else. I'll be back in a year. I'll be here. we had tore his leg up pretty good but it was just soft tissue damage and we're lucky he didn't break because i don't think i'd have the heart to put him down you know speaking of hearts uh your last wave was uh what made me feel it was very nice is what i mean to say i, I don't have your training in these sorts of things but i want you to know you got me reading my favorite old earth that was poets don't let anyone else catch wind of me reading poetry and getting all moody eyed. They'd think I was crazy for sure. But that Byron fella, you know, he had something I think you might like. It goes. Is this a bad time? Of course not, mistress. We trained you to lie better than that, my dear. 
Yes, mistress. When you came back to us six months ago, you were a changed woman. Now, I understand that visits to one's former home can have that effect, but when you requested to remain at the training house to teach the new students, I found it odd. Yes, mistress. I do not like to pry into the private lives of those under my care, so I've not asked about your reasons. But if I may be so bold, I'm guessing it has something to do with the young gentleman waiting for you by the pagoda? I have a visitor. You do. But if this young gentleman is a danger to you, if he seeks to rob you of your calling or clouds the clarity of your thoughts, then you would both be well served by you putting an end to whatever affair you have and letting him get on with his life. And you with yours. You are one of the most sought after companions in the verse. And yet you continue to deny all requests for your company. Now as a marketing strategy, well, it does have its merits. You're more in demand now than you ever were before and the prices these clients are offering are astronomical. I understand what you're saying, Head Miss Child. I've been dancing to this music for longer than you've been alive. If you are considering a change in station, in situation, I beg of you to accept one of these offers. Anyone you see fit and leave with a nest egg will allow you to keep your situation and your reputation intact and uh, repay your father for all of the support he's given you. I'll even help you find someone suitable if you'd like. A situation brief, not entirely too unpleasant. And if your gentleman does return your affections, surely he'll understand that this is for him as well. I don't think he will. He's not, this is not his world. Then perhaps he's not the right man. I suggest you take this idea to him and gauge his reaction. You cannot consider a future with him without knowing him in all of his seasons. There's a scorpion by your boot. crying that I wasn't here than because I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm very glad to see you. I, the ways have been wonderful, but just enough to make the absence worse. <laughs> That's why I came. I heard there was some work here for a builder, and I put in a bid so low, they would have been stupid not to hire me. So you'll be on more coming for a while then? Just a day. It was a small gig. You know, all the larger contracts get ate up by the big fish. I'm just a minnow around here. Well, perhaps you're like the koi in the pond. You'll grow to fit the size of the pool you're in. <laughs> <laughs> Hells, bells, woman. I think you're about the prettiest woman in the whole verse. Jeremiah, there's been a change here. I just spoke to Napuri, the headmistress. Oh, that older woman? She was real nice. Yes. She seems to have deduced our association and she's, I can't believe I'm saying this, but she seems to be encouraging me to pursue it. That's great, Tai Haula. It is, Tai Haula. Well, you don't seem none too happy about it. She's also encouraged me to take one last client, a wealthy one, and leave on a high note, as it were. That, that makes a lot of sense. It does? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is who you are, Calliope. I may not fully understand your world or what being a companion means to you, but I can at least be man enough to respect it. So you're fine with just letting me go off and sleep with some strangers so long as I walk away rich, is that it? What was this, a trap? If I got into a huff and told you not to go, I'd be denying who you are. But I tell you to do what you want, and all of a sudden I don't care? I didn't say it was what I wanted. Well, is it? 
I suppose I'll need some time to think about what it is I want now. Time and space, darling. Yo, I thought we both had enough to know what we wanted. I guess I was wrong. the worst man I ever met, Jeremiah. <clears throat> you work hard, don't drink much, got a little book knowing, come to the aid of people wanting aid help. All in, I dare say you was a good man. Not that I ain't appreciative of the kindness, sir, but is there a point to it? My daughter is at the hotel come in on the shuttle yesterday. She thinks I don't know. And if she come back to Paris without telling me, I reckon there's someone else she wants to see. Well, she ain't told me neither, so maybe it's someone else. Son, there ain't nobody else. Not in her whole life. I don't think I even... Reynolds, I know all about your history of bed and farmer's daughters and raising hell. I know you don't know the difference between a whorehouse and a hen house. She's my daughter. And for reasons defying understanding, she's in love with you. So you take care of her. Or I'll find you. Reavers. I have to get to my father. He's safe. I put him in the door and I locked him in. I just couldn't leave you. What a fool I've been. We had a chance at happiness and I wasted it. I wanted to be with you so badly, but my pride got in the way. I, I was hurt that you would so willingly give me over to someone else that I lashed out and now it's too late. What did you do? What just happened? What was in that vial? There are no reavers. What was in that vial? A companion's dignity. It's a toxin that kills anyone who violates us. You drank a poison? I'll be dead in minutes. I'm the fool here. I have loved you since the day we met. And I should have picked up and come to Murakami to be with you. I thought we'd have time to work it all out. I thought it would be okay. I just, 
I thought a little scare might get you to tell me how you really felt. But I... Oh, God. What have I done? That's what I figured. What? I said I figured you'd do something like that. That's why the vial was filled with fruit juice. I thought a little scare might get you to tell me how you really felt. What? Are you... Are you... How did you... Did... You don't play a player. Hell, I didn't have the idea for this till ten minutes ago. Well, I didn't know it would be this, but I knew it would be something, so I came prepared. You're go ram crazy, you know that? We make quite a pair, don't you think? I surely do. There's a snake in the bed. That's not a snake. 